The thing about visiting and living in Brighton is it's not a shy city. It's loud, determinedly different, and it wants you to know it. And that culture has recently permeated its local politics. It's always been known as a place where alternative lifestyles, alternative mindsets, uh, they exist very well. Uh, and the Greens sort of summed that up when they came in two years ago. You know, people thought, we want to change, we want something which is different. And what's happened recently is certainly different. By principle, Green councillors are not whipped into voting for party policy. And Green councillors have had some very public spats whilst trying to actually run the place. Astonishingly, this whole thing comes down to fruit. You see, the greens are sort of divided into watermelons and mangoes. Watermelons, green on the outside, red on the inside. A little bit more left-leaning, socialist, if you like. The mangoes, green on the outside, and a little bit yellow on the inside. A bit more conciliatory, a bit more practical. But they've got to work together, and here in Brighton, that mix has been less of a smoothie and more of a fruit salad. Examples include a strike, where a Green Council leader was arguing why the bin men were wrong and needed to get back to work, and his deputy was outside on the picket lines with the workers. And the first Green MP was also publicly sympathetic to the bin men's cause. Yes, it was unfortunate, and I recognise that wasn't the best message to be sending when we're trying to go through a very difficult period in delivering equal pay. But the outcome is that we are on course to have a fairer system of pay and allowances, so we are delivering the outcome. Then the Green Council voted through a plan to redevelop the Seven Dials area, which, as it turned out, would have removed a rather prominent elm tree. After a vociferous local campaign to save the tree, one Green Councillor changed their mind and joined the campaign whilst their fiancé led the protests from up the tree. Uh, I feel very strongly about this tree. It's a beautiful, mature tree. And uh, quite a lot of residents in the local area didn't realise at the time of consultation that this tree was due to be chopped down. Taxes and businesses have scoffed at a 20 mile an hour speed limit that no one enforces. Opponents in the political merry-go-round say the Greens have just gone through the looking glass, especially when there was an idea that mediators might be brought in to get the Greens back together. You ask members of, you know, members of people on the, on the street and mediation for political parties, that just doesn't happen. It's just bonkers. And, and that was the response. People said it's bonkers. I think when you look at our record in our midterm report, the level of manifesto promises we've delivered shows that we are actually being effective. But I accept the perception when um, our unwhipped system spills out into the public domain is less than helpful to people's understanding of what we're delivering. Of course, the only way to know if they did understand is when Brightonians go to the polls in 2015.